Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Biomolecules, amino acids. Part 3. Essential and uncommon amino acids. I will start by showing you the basic structure of amino acid. Basic structure of an amino acid is shown in the image. Four vacancies on a single carbon atom that is, C1 of amino acid is occupied by Amino group Carboxylic group Proton, and R group This carbon atom is known as alpha carbon. Amino acids are differentiated by R group. Thus, amino acid is classified by the nature of R group. All the amino acids has, three letter abbreviation and one letter symbol. For example, an amino acid, glycine, has three letter abbreviation GLY, and one letter symbol, G. The classification of amino acid based on R group is shown here. Five groups of amino acid based on R group classification are Amino acids with nonpolar aliphatic R groups Amino acids with aromatic R groups Amino acids with polar uncharged R groups Amino acids with positively charged R groups. Amino acids with negatively charged R groups. Glycine, alanine, proline, valine, leucine, isoleucine, and methionine are categorized under amino acids with nonpolar aliphatic R groups. Phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan are categorized under amino acids with aromatic R groups. Serine, threonine, cysteine, asparagin, and glutamine, are categorized under amino acids with polar uncharged R groups. Lysine, histidine, and arginine, are categorized under amino acids with positively charged R groups. Aspartate and glutamate are categorized under amino acids with negatively charged R groups. Structures of all these amino acids are shown in my previous video entitled Biomolecules, Amino Acids, Part 2, Structures of Common Amino Acids. Now I will portray other ways to classify amino acids. Amino acids can also be classified based on relative hydrophobicity, as hydrophobic or hydrophilic amino acids. The classification of amino acid based on their relative hydrophobicity is shown here. Here. Arginine, asparagine, aspartate, cysteine, glutamate, glutamine, glycine, histidine, lysine, serine, and threonine are categorized as hydrophilic amino acids. Whereas alanine, isoleucine, leucine, methionine, phenylalanine, proline, tryptophan, tyrosine, and valine are categorized as hydrophobic amino acids. These 20 amino acids can also be classified as nutritionally essential and non-essential amino acids. Amino acids that are not produced by the body by the anabolic pathways and, therefore, need to be supplied to the body through the diet are called essential amino acids. There are 10 such nutritionally essential amino acids, and they are Arginine Valine Histidine Isoleucine Leucine Lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, and tryptophan. The code AV Hill MPTT, that is the first letter of each amino acid, can be memorized to recall essential amino acids. Out of these 10, only two amino acids, namely arginine and histidine, can be partly synthesized by adult humans, so they are considered as semi essential amino acids. Now, I will portray some uncommon amino acids. In addition to the 20 common amino acids, proteins may contain residues created by modification of common residues already incorporated into a polypeptide. Few uncommon amino acids will be discussed now. The first two uncommon amino acids that I will discuss is, hydroxylysine, and, hydroxyproline. The structure of hydroxylysine, and, Hydroxyproline is as shown below. 
They are derived from lysine and proline respectively by hydroxylation. They are mainly found in the collagen and gelatin proteins. The next two uncommon amino acids that I will describe are iodinated amino acids that are found only in theroglobulin, these amino acids are thyroxine and 335-triiodothyronine. The structure of uncommon amino acid, thyroxine is shown on the right. These two uncommon amino acids are found in the protein theroglobulin which is produced by the thyroid gland. Next, uncommon amino acid that I will describe is 6N-methylysine, its structure is shown here. 6N-methylysine is a constituent of myosin which is a contractile protein of muscle tissue. Fifth uncommon amino acid that I will describe is gamma-carboxyglutamate, its structure is shown here. Gamma-carboxyglutamate is found in the blood clotting protein prothrombin and, in certain other proteins that bind calcium as part of their biological function. Now, I will explain sixth uncommon amino acid that is desmosine, the structure of desmosine is shown below. It is a derivative of four lysine residues. The image shows single monomer of lysine. When four such monomer of lysine are condensed, desmosine is formed. Desmosine is found in the fibrous protein elastin. Next uncommon amino acid that I will describe is, selenocysteine, the structure of selenocysteine is shown here. Selenocysteine is a unique amino acid. Selenocysteine contains selenium rather than the sulfur of cysteine. Selenocysteine is actually derived from serine and not from cysteine. Selenocysteine is a constituent of just a few known proteins. Among functionally characterized proteins containing selenocysteine are few glutathione peroxidases and few thyrodoxin reductases, which both contain only one selenocysteine. Another two uncommon amino acids that I will describe here are ornithine and citrulline. The structure of ornithine and citrulline are shown here. Both of these uncommon amino acids deserve special note because they are key intermediate metabolites in the biosynthesis of arginine and in the urea cycle. All the uncommon amino acids that I explained as an illustrations in this video are few amongst several known uncommon amino acids. So other than these, other uncommon amino acids also exists in nature. In my next video, I will explain some impotent properties of amino acids. Stay tuned to my channel. References used to prepare this video are given here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.